Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever build video in Ark Survival Evolved. This is sort of an unofficial build video, you might say. It is connected with um, my Ark uh, Let's Play with Dink Beaker. Um, in that Let's Play, we are building a boat and we had been collecting all of the resources and building the pieces in the Let's Play and I thought that it would be nice to just build the boat in a separate episode for those of you who want to see how I build the boat and then for those of you who don't care about seeing that you can just skip it if you want to. So this is not going to be an official Let's Play episode, it is only for the build. And uh, Dink is around here somewhere. Um, well, you remember that Pegasaurus or whatever thingy that stole my narco berry? Pegomastix, yeah? Yeah. Uh, he's now tamed. And it turns out that he is a she. Oh. Right? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and... Following your uh, Yep. Okay. Yep. So, and, like, I think he'll steal for me. Yeah. So <laughs> I have my own little pet thief. All right, so Dink is going to be. So leveling. yeah, I'm around. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> around and he's going to be leveling up, trying to catch up in levels to me while I build. <laughs> all right, so I yeah, already good have luck all, with that. All, but the, anyway. all the pieces built, and I am going to get started. So, the first thing that we need to do is lower foundations, and to do that, align yourself on the boat by activating it like this, and that'll just make it so that anything that you place will be dead center and we are going to be placing a pillar about a wooden pillar about right there uh, whoops wrong button <laughs> and then place a thatch foundation on the pillar and if you do it fast enough you can uh, pick up the pillar before it runs out of the timer then place the, uh, another, the pillar back in the middle and then use that to lower the foundation. It'll place the next one down low like that. Then you can pick up that and hopefully pick up this one as well. And then do it again. And we're going to be doing it, just basically doing this over and over until the floor is level with the um, until the floor is level with the raft there we go. looks like one more time ought to do it there we go now that is about how low it's going to be. And um, just so you guys know, um, I, of course, did not come up with these techniques at all. This is, these are widely known techniques. And so is also the building of this boat. Um, I sort of am using some techniques from different people, and I don't know who um, have come up with these techniques. They've just been around as long as I can remember in ARC. Um, and so I sort of uh, designed the boat myself, although it uses elements of some other ideas from other people. Um, but anyway, just, just letting you all know that in advance. All right, so now we need to place, uh, nope, wrong button, there we go. Um, is this a wood floor? No, this is a thatch. And I want the wood floor. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm making the boat out of wood for now. And I'm going to put um, three wood foundations, wood floors or whatever. One here, one wrong button, one it's hard to tell. One right here and one right here. Alright. Then we can demolish this. 
Oh, hold on. Not the raft, the batch floor. Yeah. And then we get wood ceilings. And I need to put wood ceilings all along here. Um, four of them. Was that four or was that only one? That was one, two, three. No, we need four. Okay. Uh, no, not, not there. Sorry, I've got my directions mixed up. That's the back. This is the front. Put it right there. There we go. So, quick question. Mm -hmm. When you pick up a dinosaur, where does it go? Oh, did you pick up the Pegamastics? Yeah. It's on <laughs> your shoulder. Oh, so how do I put them down? Uh, you double tap Y. Why? Mm-hmm. Um, don't I want him to be running away? If you want to put him down, you double tap Y. Oh. <laughs> the Y button. Who's on first? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mm hmm Go back to building. Okay, I am. All right. So there we have it. So, um, three wood foundations in the middle four wood ceilings on each side plus one wood ceiling or two wood ceilings in the front like this all right and then we, i need to go get my other piece here okay now we're going to make the boat um now we're going to make the the front of the boat and we want it to be angled so i'm going to get um wood fence foundations and I'm going to put one right here on the inside. And then oh, I get and then we gotta put one facing at an angle this way. And so you just gotta try to get the the angle. It's difficult. It's a tricky one. So just keep sort of fiddling with it. Try your different um, snap points. But you want to get diagonally across the, the, the uh, across that foundation. It is not easy. It can take a long time to find that, that snap point. So if you have trouble getting the snap point, it might be a good idea to go into options and turn down your look sensitivity. So it's really low. So you can actually slowly move your camera around. And that way, if you find the snap point, you don't accidentally pass it. This is very easy to pass it. There it was. I saw it. It's still really easy to pass it, even with your look sensitivity turned down, but it's a little bit more likely to, to find it. Oh, there's a dolphin here. He's coming up to say hi to me. <laughs> Dolphins are friendly. And sociable they like well hello there he's coming up he's coming right up to say hi <laughs> oh 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 I had it I had it there it is all right everybody I found it as soon as you get the <laughs> that snap point go ahead and build it and then add another one onto that, another angled one, onto the end of that one. And again, it's going to be somewhat difficult to find. A little easier than the first one, I think, but still it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So just uh, 
You can try using your different snap points, um, the si snap point cycler, but <clears throat> that doesn't always work in this case. Yeah. So the best way is to just move your camera around until you find it. Alright, I got it. There it is. Okay. Now, so, straight one and two angled ones attached to each other. And then you're going to want to do the other one. Uh, do the same thing on the other side. Um, straight one on the inside snap point right there. And another diagonal one. Okay, there's there it is. All right, one more to go. It's actually better, easier to to get this one from this angle. I don't see what you're trying to do here. No, you can't see it. Build mode, you know, you can't see it until it's until I place it down. Oh. Uh. All right, here we go, everybody. Finally. There it is. Now, it's not um, directly straight on with the one, but I think that that's okay. It will even out at the end. At least, I think so. I built a boat with it like this before, and it didn't seem to matter. So, okay, pardon the rain, everybody. Not really anything I can do about that. So, once you get um, your fence foundations in place, go ahead and build um, thatch walls on top of them. Make sure they're all facing the same direction. like so. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is go under the water and attach wood walls underneath. There we go. Underneath the thatch walls. Oops. Air's overrated. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Alright. Now I need to move my boat out a little bit farther because we're getting the water's getting, it's getting bigger. A little bit too shallow Deeper. here for me to get underneath it. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Alright, now. You're going to want to put six um, thatch found uh, six thatch walls underneath the wood walls that are down that you put on. And what this does is it just creates um, I think it just creates stability for the uh, for what we're going to do next. The thatch walls are temporary. It creates a snapping point actually down here. Okay, so let me just get some air. <laughs> so I don't drown. 
And then what we're going to do next is snap six wood ceilings under here on top of the thatch walls. We have pterodon saddles. Okay, and then continue putting wood ceilings. Uh, put, put six more wood ceilings across to fill in. where the rudder is too, like so. Um, hold on, this one's off from the others. What's up with that? There we go. <clears throat> now ideally you would be building this out of metal. <clears throat> And if you build it out of metal, this will protect your raft completely from things, most things. Um, I'm not building it out of metal yet because we are not that far along and uh, we don't have all that metal yet. So once you... I have plans for the metal we do have. Oh, you do, huh? <laughs> I do. Once it's you... A secret. <laughs> Once you uh, put the floors in, then you're gonna put some, two more wood walls on each side like this. Uh, wood walls. Just make sure that they're matching up. Make sure they got all the same snap points here. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, Ichthy is back. <clears throat> All right, once you got all of the underside finished like that, then we're going to be demolishing some of the some of the wood up here. So first we're going to demolish this one. And then we're going to demolish this one. It is getting dark. Let's look at that. And then the one in the very front. And last of all, the one here in the middle. Like this. And then we get more wood ceilings and we're going to put them in at an angle like this. And it's, I'm starting to lose my daylight. I thought it was my daylight. <laughs> oh, whoops, wrong button. Nope, that went down to the wrong snap point. Then fill in the empty spot. Here, let me get my torch out. And fill in the rest of the, uh, the lowered area. So that is the floor finished. Or at least that part of the floor. I apologize for how dark it is, but I actually don't have time to wait for it to get to be morning. So I'm going to try to finish this, even though it's dark out. So I hope you guys can see okay. Um, so next we're going to put a thatch ceiling, a row of thatch ceilings on the end of this boat here. Get it to snap on. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't what I was doing before. Well, where's my thatched ceilings? Oh, there they are. Okay, sorry about that. I had the wrong thing equipped. Here we go. A row of thatched ceilings. And then you're going to want to put. Um, well, I can't do this at night. I can't go underwater with my torch. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to wait for morning to arrive because it was too dark to do this. All right. So, anyways, put um, wood foundation underneath the um, thatch foundation or the thatch ceilings. I mean. All across the back here. You might have to actually go underwater to get it to work. There you go. There we go. Okay. And then put another row of thatch ceilings. of wood foundations. Make sure you have enough water underneath your boat um, that, that these ceilings, that these foundations aren't going to be touching the ground when you put them in or else they'll demolish as soon as you place them. Just a little tip there. Ooh, and then you lose the materials, right? Well, you, you lose some of the materials. Once you place those, then demolish your thatch ceiling. And that will be the rest of the boat. And now you can demolish all of the thatch walls. Including the ones underneath. And then turn all of the wood floors into blocks. And there you have your raft base. And you can do whatever you want with the rest of it, with the top of it. But I will show you what I'm going to do with the top of it. All right, so this boat is going to have a quarters, a living quarters, and crafting area in the middle. It's going to have a little deck on the front, and it's going to have dino storage on the back. Dino storage? Dino storage. <laughs> Our dino transportation room? I don't know. Actually, I think I want to extend this out even one more to think of it. Okay, for this boat, I actually wanted to make it one more one more row longer out this way. So I'm going to put and I think I actually need to move my boat out a little farther. You're going to be so bummed out if that boat keeps going. <laughs> right? That's why I want to disable that creature. Yeah, I think that's when you say hush him. 
What? I think the proper reply there is hush your mouth. Don't be saying. <laughs> All right, so now I need to demolish these. And I put a ramp on the back because I couldn't get back up again. <laughs> but that's not um, going to be there forever. Okay, now I'm going to put the walls on. So, I'm going to be putting a door right here. Uh, I have to face it the other direction, though. Um, and then we'll put walls. <clears throat> and then another door here. I suppose I should have done that. You were going to make part of it double height, too, weren't you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. finicky. doesn't want to place it in the direction I want it to place. Of course. No, you know, see, it's just think, kind of snapped to the wrong thing here. Huh? Would gaming, would gaming even be fun if they worked the way they were supposed to? You want the the wall to snap to the same, all to the same snapping point. This wall is trying to snap to the wrong one. See that? It's snapping to the floor instead of the foundation. I want it to snap to the foundation. I'll have to take your word. I'll get to see it when everybody else. It's not working. Can't seem to get it to find that snap pot point. Oh, maybe I should just let it snap to the. Oh, there it goes. Okay, got it. Okay, and then we're going to put a window here. Except not right there. Make sure your window is snapping to the correct snap point, and it's not. Why is it having such a trouble? It did not have this trouble before. Oh, you know what? It's the door is snapped in the wrong place. That's what it is. Get the door to snap on the right. There we go. Now the window. Oh, it's on the wrong one again. There. Then a solid wall. Ow! He's attacking me again. Alright, finally got that bird gone. So now let's continue building. 
So we're going to put wood wall, uh, solid wall here, a window here, and it's like I need to craft another door. Door here, window, and of course you guys can mix this up if you want, if you don't want windows. I like to have windows because I like to see out. <laughs> I like to see what kinds of dinosaurs might be coming to get me. <clears throat> and another window. Of course they can see in, but you can always... Um, this wall is in the wrong place. Right? Yes. This wall needs to be snapped on the... It's, it's snapping to the... to the wood... Um, um, fence foundation. And I don't want it to. I want it to snap to the... the floor... the ceiling. And it's not. And I don't know why it's doing that. Didn't do that last time I built this. Well, it could be because this one is. Well, this one doesn't seem to be. There it goes. Okay. Just make sure that it snaps to the floor, or the ceiling piece, and not the wood foundation. This fence foundation. And then uh, one more door, which I don't have, so I need to go craft one. And what is the door. name of that thing, anyway, that keeps pestering us? Ichthy... I can't remember. <laughs> okay, I'll we'll have to look it up. Ichthyornis or Ichthyus... I... I think that is it. Ichthyornis? Th that sounds right. Ichthyornis or Ichithornis? Ichithornis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we're going to put a solid wall above the door. <gasps> I just ate raw meat. I didn't need <sighs> to do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I going to get sick? Am I going to die now? Hmm. And then another level of wood walls up top on the back. Now we're going to put two dino gates. How big of a dino can we put on there anyway? Mm, like a... Carno or a Therizinosaurus would fit in here, or a Triceratops would fit in, a Stegosaurus, no, no bigger than that. Hmm, okay. Bummer. I was thinking we could have like a Brontosaurus along, along for the ride. No, they can't actually ride on boats. They slide off. It would be more fun if they could. <laughs> and Ooh, then wall torch. Put a, another dino gate on the other side. We need wall torches for the boat. Hmm, how do you make cementing paste? Stone and um, chitin in the... Is that something... Yep, go ahead. In the... In the mortar and pestle? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ah, but it looks like you have to have an engram because it's not in the base recipes. Yeah, you do have to have an engram. You have to learn the, I've learned it already, I think. Okay. But you should then learn it too. There's no need for me to know. Well, we should it. both. Oh, I should. We okay. should both learn that kind of stuff so we can both craft it. Okay. That's a good way for um, you to level up as well. 
Oh, it's starting to rain. Yep. There, just you want to make sure that your boat, or that your, that your, um, dino gates are straight. And then, we'll be putting walls here. And along the back as well. And I need to craft some more. I want two layers. Oh, I didn't craft enough. Okay, I apologize for this awful, awful rain. Everything is against Yes, it's me. all your fault. Everything's against me. So then we're going to put um, ramps along here. And we're going to put three ramps on each side of the boat. Um, two in front of the dino gate and one in front of the door. And I thought I would just do that right now because I couldn't get back up on my boat otherwise. <laughs> And that will be how you get in and out. All right, now let's finish building this wall. So you're gonna put another row of wood walls here, or metal, or whatever stone, whatever you want to build it out of. Okay, so then we're going to put a sloped wood walls on the ends here. And sloped wood walls on these ends here, like this, like so. And then sloped wood walls. Oops. Slope wood wall in the front on each side. And then we're going to put sloped wooden roofs along each side of the boat. And also sloped wooded roofs on the back here, like this. And this is going to be your dinosaur storage area. We can go ahead and put the dino gates on. And then put two wood ceilings and I forgot to build a hatch frame and I'm out of wood and a wooden hatch frame in the front but make it facing the correct direction Ooh. The same way as your others. It's starting to look like a party boat. A party boat? Yeah, we have a party deck on top. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know why there's a gap here, but I can't seem to do anything about it. There's like a little gap, and I don't remember that being like that last time I built this boat, but I can't really do anything about it at the moment, anyways. Um, oops, I didn't mean to craft another one of those. I want to put a ladder. Oh, actually, first, put a hatch frame. I don't need to craft a hatch frame. A hatch, not a hatch frame, a hatch door. Where's the hatch door? Did I learn the hatch door yet? I 
doesn't look like I did. Put your hatch door in. And then open. Oh, so this is so, so I can ride on top without having to get out? Well, yeah, and it's so that we can, yeah, get in and out. So you can uh, get up on the roof. And um, you can land your flyers up here, and then you can go down in and, and stuff like that. And you can, um, the best way to get your flyer in is to land it on this roof and then walk it off and land it in, in here. Like so. Like so. You do have to jump to close the on the inside, but it's no big deal. And then, then get wood railings to put along the front. Um, wood railings. Yeah, that's that's that uh, offset. Somehow that got offset. I don't know why. If I could. There we go. Okay. There's the front. Now um, you can put a torch here. Or you could even plant um, some crop plots right there. Put some crop plots. And then. Put doors on all the doors. And the boat is finished, and you can fill it with whatever furniture you desire. Yay! And you. Um, I can't believe it. We have a boat. <laughs> Get your dinosaurs in and out this way. And let's go ahead and destroy that extra ramp that I had to build to get on. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the finished boat with uh, a little viewing deck on the front for your passengers. They can see where they're going. <laughs> and a large area where you can put your crafting benches, your bed, your cooking pots, and stuff like that. And a large dino storage area. You could fit a stego in here easily, plus some raptors or a couple flyers. Um, with this boat, so far in my other playthrough, I have um, transported um, a, a Therizinosaurus, um, four raptors, and a flyer. You can also um, park if you get overloaded. You can actually park a flyer up on the uh, up on the roof. Up on the flat part of the roof right here, if you have to. So it's very a uh, very little versatile design. And uh, anyway, you guys, hope you enjoyed it. So this was my very first build, and I had some issues with environment and interrupting creatures. So sorry about that. I'll try to edit that did, all out. <laughs> huh? Did you just call me a creature? No, I wasn't talking about you. I think you did. <laughs> I think you did. I was talking about those stupid itchy birds. Okay. I know. I. I have to figure out how to get rid of that. <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be, um, be be sure to watch the next episode of the Let's Play where we will be using this boat for the first time. Alright. Awesome. In the meantime, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys. Bye.